What's up, meatbags? It's the often imitated, never duplicated Tony TGD coming at you with a little Amico Challenge update. Update. Uh, that's right. We're gonna be talking about it from my perspective and uh, what's going on with this challenge. Now, as you can see on the screen, we got this video from uh, Gen X Gamer. He's the one who proposed the challenge, made the rules, uh, set everything in motion. He said, uh, "Back up your opinion with some money." And of course, a couple of us uh, jumped on that, and we did. Now, Gen X has uh, successfully sold six of the eight games. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind that he's going to sell the other two. Uh, he doesn't need to sell them for much to uh, win the bet. He only has to hit $264.06 total. And I believe with the eBay fees taken out, he's at like 228 something. So, I mean, he can get there. It's not going to be uh, an issue. I doubt that the last two games are not going to sell. Now, uh, the issue that myself and others have with the uh, whole contest, the whole thing is, it, it really wasn't the point whether or not uh, Gen X Gamer could turn around and sell them for a profit, whether or not he could make money off of the games. Uh, the initial uh, complaint, the initial argument was whether or not these things would be worth money uh, in the future, you know, if the company folds, if it doesn't fold, if it succeeds, whatnot, whether or not these box editions would be actually valuable. Now, uh, in order to determine that, first we have to determine the exact value of the box editions themselves. Uh, we still have no information on the NFT aspect, what blockchain it's on, all that. Uh, there's still a few details that are missing as to whether or not um, the digital ones are NFTs, whether or not uh, the limited collector's edition uh, boxes are the only difference, which would make the boxes themselves valuable, not so much the uh, stuff inside, if the stuff inside is going to be the same through all uh, versions. Of course, there's uh, the issue of supply and demand. As we've demonstrated, they're not sold out. They're not almost sold out. Uh, so the demand is not there yet. You know, everything that we said was uh, based on long-term uh, determination, whether they're going to be valuable in, say, 30 years, 20 years from now. And not, you know, uh, right away. Because right now, there is no way to get single boxes in America. Uh of these games so uh, Gen X selling them you know by themselves individually uh, yeah he was bound to find someone who wanted one or two games and were willing to play pay the little bit of extra for them so uh, as you can see he said he got 300% profit on uh, Finnegan Fox he has admitted that he made a mistake in his calculations he was going off the wrong number uh, so uh, that's not a big deal uh, the games themselves, uh, depending on how you buy them, because you can only buy them, as we see here in the four pack, which is eighty bucks, or the eight pack, which is one hundred fifty bucks. Um, so if you buy them in the four pack, obviously it's about twenty dollars a game. If you buy them in the eight pack, it's about eighteen seventy five per game. Now uh, they don't sell them individually in America. Uh, so we don't know how much they are individually. But if we go over to Amazon Germany, you know, German Amazon, you can buy the games individually over there. And they're priced at 17.99 euros. If we take our little euro to American dollar converter here, you can see that 17.99 is about $20.85. So you could say that each game is about... Um, 20 bucks, maybe $21 if you want to, you know, round up. But will they be worth money in the future? I, I'm still going to say no. Like I said, I knew this was a sucker's bet to begin with. I knew right off the bat that he was going to be able to sell them uh, individually. Uh, the whole point was to back up what you said with uh, money, to put your money where your mouth is. I am obviously uh, very... Uh, willing to do such a thing so in that regard I, I think I've proven uh, any point I want to make uh, if we go to the original video 
you can see he says that uh, if you lose, you got to donate up to $176 to the charity of your choice. Um, so we'll just go ahead and uh, you see on the screen, Gamers Outreach Donation Confirmed. Uh, I'll show the receipt with the, uh, obviously I removed uh, any, uh, you know, anything that would show my identity, any identifying material has been removed from here. My name, uh, my credit card number, obviously. As you can see, uh, donated today, $177. So, you know, I, I gave him a couple couple cents extra. No big deal. So, uh, whether or not he sells the other two, whether or not he uh, technically wins the bet or not, I, I've, you know, I've donated, as I said I would. It's not a big deal. But again, I do believe that the games will not have uh, value in the future, I believe. You know, 30 years from now, they're not going to be worth uh, the cardboard that they they are printed in. Uh, you know, again, if the blockchain goes down, if uh, the servers go down for the Amico, uh, and the games can't be used, they're not going to be worth anything. They're going to be worthless. So, that's just my opinion. Uh, we'll see if the future bears it out. Once again, the market... Has not spoken despite uh, what Gen X is claiming. The market has not spoken. When we start seeing individual games being sold by Intellivision, uh, then we'll see really what the market is, whether people are willing to pay the extra, as we've seen in some of the games, or if they're just, you know, $20 is the limit. Because obviously, you know, we're going to see what Intellivision charges. We're going to see what people are willing to pay for the difference between a limited collector's edition versus a regular edition. You know, all that needs to be worked out. Uh, Gen X, uh, in my opinion, jumped the gun a little as far as trying to prove whether or not the market uh, is there for the games. Like I said, I always knew he would make money off of these right away because, you know, if you turn them right away, if you uh, put them on eBay, people don't know. There's a lot of stupid people who have no idea what's going on. They just might have seen limited collector's edition or they might have wanted one game specifically. Uh, and they were willing to pay that money, especially since they knew it was going to charity, which kind of skewed uh, the market a little, in my opinion. But uh, that's really all i got to say about that. Like I said, I did donate, so that's taken care of, whether or not he wins or not. And uh, hopefully, we'll uh, see what happens in the future with these games. But uh, that's all i got for now. Love, peace, booty grease. I I'm out this